Well, what a difference a Valentine's Day makes. I'm meteorologist Joe Martucci. This day last year, we were freezing, literally. High temperatures only in the mid to upper 20s, 28 degrees at Atlantic City International Airport. We went up almost 30 degrees in this year's version of Valentine's Day. And we were 10 degrees above average. And that has just been par for the course since just about New Year's Day, many days above average. Now, as we go forward into the rest of the week, we will only be getting warmer here. That's because we have a ridge of high pressure that will pretty much just sit over Florida, drift over a little bit. And you see those warmer colors near us here. It pretty much deflects the low pressures from moving through and also keeps us warm as well. Now, there will be a cold front that does pass on Friday. and We will get a cold shot as we go into Friday night into Saturday, but that's only going to be around for just a little bit here. We'll be right back to above average temps as we go into Sunday here and into next week as well. Here's a look at our future cast. So cloudy tonight, so Valentine's Day night plans, I think that's how you say it, uh, are going to be okay here despite the cloud cover here. A little bit of a moonlit sky as well, that moon shining through the clouds. We go into Wednesday, clouds are around. Now you just see a couple of rain showers try to get through. I think they're really not going to get to us here. If anything, it's just a sprinkle. I'm going with the dry forecast for Wednesday. And as we go into Wednesday afternoon, we're talking about a clearing sky, but it comes right back as we go into Wednesday evening, those clouds here. And that'll be with us for most of Thursday as we do wait for rain to come through. Rain will develop between just about 1 to 3 p.m. We'll see a few hours of showers into the afternoon and evening. Then we get a break. Then we get more rain to come on Friday morning with a cold front that will pass through. This will be a steadier shot of rain only in the morning, though. I think your afternoon is dry. We'll turn windy from the northwest on Friday, and then we get that cold shot as we go into our Saturday here with a sunnier sky. Winds will be gusting on our Wednesday here, coming from the southeast, 25 to 35 miles an hour. So breezy as we go through your Wednesday here, even get up to 40 miles an hour at times. Eventually, it switches over to the southwest. And with that southwesterly wind, we're going to have a balmy Wednesday night. And then eventually our winds will go down as we go into our Thursday here across the area. So for this evening, let's take a look at some of our forecast hearts for you. We're talking about temperatures in the 40s going into the 30s as we go deeper into the evening here. It's a cloudy sky, but again, you have outdoor plans with a loved one. You're going to be all good as we go into your Tuesday evening. Then for Wednesday morning, a very mild one here. Temperatures actually rise a little bit overnight. And we're going right into the 50s by 10 a.m. Look at our daytime highs on Wednesday. How about 65 for Pleasantville and the inland towns? Now, you go right over to Atlantic City and the shore. Yeah, it's going to be in the mid to upper 50s. That south wind captures some of that 40-something degree ocean water. But it's definitely going to be a mild day, even at the coast. But spring fever for us as we go into your Wednesday. And then Wednesday night, a mild night only in the mid to upper 40s here. That's more like... April 14th, rather than February 14th. And here's a look at our inland seven-day forecast, show you what's going on. So Thursday, not a washout, rain during the afternoon, dry Thursday night, and then rain Friday morning. Now, we do get up to 60 degrees on Friday. Probably, though, we're going to start to slip down into the 50s as we go into the afternoon, and then we crash back down to reality for one day only on Saturday. And then we go right back up to seasonable temperatures as we go into Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. And snow lovers, if you're looking for snow, we do eye something later next week. Not a big threat, but better than probably what we've seen over the past couple of weeks. We'll talk to you more about that as the week goes on.